Our goal with cataract surgery is to not only improve your functional vision, but possibly give you the opportunity to minimize your dependence on glasses. As we age, our natural lens becomes more rigid. And that is why we have more difficulty reading because our lens can no longer accommodate to focus on two different focal points. Our new intraocular lens implant or IOL is also rigid and it's made of an inert acrylic material. Myopia, which means nearsightedness, is a common disorder that allows you to see up close better than you can see in a distance. After cataract surgery with a single focus lens, you can choose whether you would like to remain nearsighted and wear glasses for distance, or you can choose to have distance vision, but you will lose the close-up vision that you have before your cataract surgery and will need reading glasses. If you are hyperopic or have no distance prescription, your only option would be to correct for distance and wear reading glasses. If we made your eyes nearsighted after surgery, you would be so unhappy with your distance vision because you're not used to distance being blurred. If you are a contact lens wearer and enjoyed wearing monovision contact lenses, you may also have the opportunity of doing monovision with your cataract surgery implants. If you do that, we do request that you wear glasses 30 minutes a day to keep the fusion of your eyes and your eyes work together during that time. If you have astigmatism, which means your eye is shaped a little like a football instead of a basketball, and if you don't get it corrected with surgery, you will still need to wear glasses at all distances, even if you decide you want distance vision because the astigmatism blurs your vision at all distances. So what is astigmatism? It is an imperfection in the curvature of the eye's cornea or the lens. There are three places that you can have astigmatism, the front of the cornea, the back of the cornea, and on the lens itself. All that adds up to what your glasses prescription would be. When you have astigmatism, your vision is blurry at all distances. There are available astigmatism correcting lenses for single vision. With one of these intraocular lens implants, you can have your nearsightedness or farsightedness corrected and your astigmatism at the same time. So if you look at the picture on the left of the sailboat, this is someone who has cataracts and astigmatism. And as you can see, the vision is clouded and blurred. If we remove the cataract and replace the lens with a traditional lens implant, we'll get rid of the cloudiness, but still have the blur and the distortion from the astigmatism, as you see in the middle photo. With a toric or astigmatism correcting implant, you can correct your distance or your near vision and sharpen the images so you're less dependent on glasses. Also available are multifocal and depth of focus correcting lenses. These lenses provide a full range of vision with distance, intermediate, and close vision with the least dependence on glasses. This is a picture of my 89-year-old mother. She had one of the first multifocal implants in 2006. And for the last 14 years, she has been glasses-free. She drives to and from Philadelphia like she's going to the grocery store. 
and when she and I cook our big Italian meals for the family together, she is the one that reads the recipes because her close vision is better than mine. These multifocal and toric lenses are available, but there are additional fees that apply to the upgraded lens options. Almost everyone will experience halos and glare immediately following the surgery, but 95% of patients say it is much improved by six to eight months. 5% of the patients say the halos never resolve, but they're so pleased with their vision that they're still happy with the implant. Less than 1% of the patients will not be able to neuroadapt to this technology and will have persistent halos or poor quality vision. In these patients, we can exchange the lens, but the patient will lose the range of vision that they enjoyed. Also less than 1% of the time, when we're in the surgery, the support may not be good enough to place a multifocal or toric lens. In these patients, we can place a single focus lens and the extra cost of the lens will be refunded to the patient.